Bueno, pues ya estamos aquí en una nueva parte de Hogwarts Legacy Y vamos a ir con la clase de Historia de la Magia Que básicamente creo que va a ser la primera vez que doy esta clase, ¿no? Creo Bueno, ahora lo compraré Comenzar Y las pintas que llevo In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effect <laughs> it had on the wizard milling. Parpadeando, te Throughout the many goblin no. battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Te duermas. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. ¿Tú crees? And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Ay, que me choco. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, then, uh, welcome. <laughs> no doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Mm. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lodgok said he was an ancestor of Renrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Well, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. He's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here. Se supone que ya tengo la guía. Avelio. Students introduce themselves to this hero. La guía de campo sobre quién la fuente. Rimbaud. Estaban todos ya aquí recogidas. Sir Skagglethorpe the Heedless once challenged a mountain troll zona, ¿no? to a game of musical chairs. Ah, mira, pues no. Bueno, Green Bull. Esta es la calavera de un famoso sastre, Green Balfest. Bueno, yo digo Fest, como si hubiese ese. Cuya habilidad con la aguja reparó los abrigos de los magos y de las brujas durante la revuelta de los duendes en 1752, para que no se pusiesen enfermos durante la batalla. Okay. Oh yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeing. Yo creo que como diga que es una calavera me mata. Scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buddle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, Rebellion. statues of knights, I should clarify. 
Keen-eyed students will spot the statue you know, of the yeah. half-bottle of the cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. Ay, pero si está marcado morado, ¿qué no significa eso? Mira, was celebrated by old friends and newcomers alike. I encourage everyone to make the waving centuries-old likeness of Pangadon. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Por qué no puedo salir de la zona? As one would expect. Hogwarts contains no Narthexes, since obviously this unassuming smudge is rumored to be the location of the very first successful use. Marca de quemaduras, supuesta ubicación del primer caso conocido del lanzamiento de bombarda de discutible éxito. Fecha desconocida, bruja mago no identificable. I suppose successful is a relative term, since whoever cast it didn't live to tell the tale. Vale. Por aquí no es. Por aquí supongo que tampoco es, ¿verdad? Rebellion. ¿Me dejáis por aquí? No. Por aquí en teoría estoy fuera del punto. Esto me pasa por no leerlo. Por aquí ya he ido. Voy a ver de nuevo con ese señor. Hogwarts es impervious to the inexorable march of time. A ver. Where can I find that friendly knight you mentioned earlier? Oh, yes, Sir Afpuddle, or rather the statue of Sir Afpuddle. It can be found amongst the other statues of knights. It's easy to identify, as it's been enchanted to wave at those who take the time to seek it out. Rebellion. Our students often complain about the many staircases at Hogwarts, sir, but they never bother me. ¿Por qué no puedo salir? ¿Se ha bugueado? The Hogwarts founders could never have achieved such architectural majesty without the aid of powerful magic. Rebellion. No. Es una cosa porque como también quiero curiosear una cosa que he visto, si consigo encontrarme de esto, me lleva un rato, pero lo he encontrado. Caballero que saluda, esta armadura es la propiedad de Sir Aspudre, o como se diga, de la alegre semblante. Un caballero legendario amigable, se encuentra que ganó, si se cuenta que ganó todas las batallas sin librarlas, en virtud de sus amigables tácticas de negociación. Hay quien le atribuye su éxito a un potentísimo encantamiento estimulante que se lanzaba sobre sí mismo. Buena. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Hmm. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be 
without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Well, bueno, ya está hecho. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least bueno, I like to say that. Bueno, me voy a despedir entonces, ¿vale? Así que bueno, eh, espero que haya gustado. Un besito muy fuerte. Sé que es muy corto y que no dio mucha emoción en sí, pero ahí estamos. Así que bueno, un besito y adiós.